Then continuing on from the music front, we've got an update here, courtesy of The Mirror, about Zayn Malik. Obviously, I covered it previously on my podcast about the story that he allegedly striked his mother-in-law or his supposed mother-in-law, because I don't think him and Gigi are married. But regardless, let's just say his mother-in-law for the you know extent of this show. Um, <laughs> what? John Ross's daughter, honey. John Ross, John Ro- Jonathan Ross's daughter has got a black boyfriend. Interesting. Not that it matters, but, you know, it's just funny. Um, let's continue. So, Zay Malik, yep. Um, now it looks like it's got from bad to worse. As per usual with the industry pylon, once one person deems you to be unworkable with, right, suddenly the whole industry picks up their moral backbone and decides to kind of drop you as well, which is kind of heinous, I think, because for the most part, from the little that I know, having been in the entertainment industry, you know, from very, very far away, people know about how people are right they know people's personalities they know their vices they know what they get up to behind closed doors everyone knows everyone's business right so i don't believe for one minute that zane's kind of attitude the way he goes on how he is behind the scenes wasn't a known fact but people tolerated it because it's zane he's good for business he's associated with this superstar model He's associated with this obviously, you know, legendary sort of boy band in One Direction. Like they they didn't mind all the negative press that came with him because the, the positive press outweighed it. Then as soon as the negative press starts to outweigh the positive press, they drop him like a hot potato. And I think, in my opinion, that it's just disgusting. Again, regardless of not condoning what he did to his alleged mother-in-law, it's just the idea that when like they kind of use you for your bad bad boy image or whatever it may be or your kind of uncontrollable image in the moment that gets too far where you know maybe police are involved maybe there's a lawsuit involved suddenly the record label decides to drop you and it's like what do you expect people to do after the fact what do you expect somebody who kind of has made their entire oh no who spent their entire adulthood singing into a microphone and that's how they pay the bills what do you want to do next going forward yes some people say oh yeah he's got a rich family he'll be fine but I just don't necessarily see how this is constructed to anybody going forward. I really don't. Um, it's just courtesy of uh, the mirror. It says, Zelene, Zelene, <laughs> Zayn Malik ditched by record label due to being almost impossible to control. It says Zayn Malik is no longer signed to the US record label. RCA reports claim One Direction star who's been a solo artist since quitting his boy band group in 2015 was dropped a while ago due to British chart topping being uh, impossible to control. It says here yeah, a lot of people have been desperately, uh, no, have tried desperately to get Zayn's life and career back on track, but nothing's worked. So many people have worked to him to get up um, and have just given up, a source told The Sun. The Mirror also contacted the representative of Zayn Malik Arsier to comment. It says it's impossible for him to control or guide. A while ago, his quality decided, it, he, or a while ago, his, quiet, his label quietly decided it was the end of the line for the relationship and now this. And again, I'm one of the rare people that actually listens to Zayn Malik's albums. I've, whenever they pop up on my feed, I just download them and just see what they're saying. And they're very hot and cold. There are some decent songs on there you can find. But for the most part, he's a garbage artist. Like, really, really bad. Um, super phones it in. I, I always had the feeling that he phoned it in, but it's good to kind of know from this sort of like little quote that he made, most definitely, definitely did phone it in because... If you remember him on One Direction, if you remember him on, is it the X Factor where One Direction got together? I think it was One Direction, X Factor. I remember watching that. And I remember he, there was a bit in that season of X Factor, where it was that they formed the band, where he basically went home. He wanted to go home anyway. So I think he left the building or he was outside, whatever it may be. And they had to beg him to come back, like beg and plead this guy. And he really didn't want to come back, right? And this was when One Direction was just forming. And they're like, no, you're the final piece of the jigsaw, uh, or, or the jigsaw, sorry. You know, you're this kind of racially ambiguous, asian y sort of not really looking guy. You sing amazing, girls love you. You, you have to work in this thing. And eventually he did. And I'm sure it gave him a far, you know, it, get, it allowed him to have experiences he'd never had. He probably got some long-time friends from it. You know, whatever relationship, da, 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 he did well. But, 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 he's always kind of struck me as somebody that's been a reluctant star, a reluctant celebrity. He's sort of similar to me, like, you know, those footballers who, who kind of don't like watching football, who don't even like talking about football outside of when they play the game, who just happen to be talented at this thing where they kick a, bo- a bag of wind around, but they don't really like what they do. They just do it for a job. And then as soon as it's time to retire, they kick and they never turn back sort of thing. That's what he kind of reminds me of. But I guess because of music, because it's so easy, not easy, because it's less strenuous than playing football, 
you kind of just keep hoping you're going to fall in love with it sooner rather than later. So you get in front of a mic, you get in front of a computer, you try and record stuff, and it just doesn't sound as good as you want it to sound because you're just not in it as much. It's the same thing when people get money. Do you know what I mean? It's the same, same sort of thing. When you get money or when you're a starving artist and people love you and then you get money, it is te- it does take some time for them to get used to this new you because you're not talking about roaches on the floor anymore. Now it's flipping, you know, Philly Mayon or whatever not. It continues. Um... Da, 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 da. Um, this week Zane pleaded guilty right in the, the court so we know what happened right um, so the question is do you reckon he's surprised do you honestly think he thought he was going to win a battle between his missus and, and her mum or did you think because I, I think my theory is that they probably bad mouthed the mother together she's probably a complete nightmare a complete monster a bully whatever it may be right and they got to a point in their relationship where most likely Gigi said to Zayn hey man you and my mom don't get along but I love you so what we're gonna do is that she's never gonna be allowed to come around here when I'm not here because when you guys left alone for a prolonged period of time you just end up shouting at each other and I don't like it you know dysfunctional family is probably not the most healthy relationship to have and if anything if that was my friend and Gigi was my friend I was you know what I mean I'll be like hey maybe break up with him and find someone else you have to drop that gorgeous anyway you're gonna find somebody else to kind of be your stepdaddy I'm pretty sure but this isn't a healthy place to be um to have a kid kind of grow up in a household where the dad is flipping arguing with her grandmother it just doesn't make any sense but anyway I think that was the arrangement. And then, of course, as mums do, because that's her flipping grandchild, she's not going to be like, oh, I'm not going to... She doesn't want to have those rules on her. She wants to see her grandchild when she wants to see it. She's like, you know what? One day she thought, fuck it. I'm going to go there and, and give him a piece of my mind. She went over to their flat or wherever they were. I don't know how they encountered each other, but somehow they crossed paths. And then, of course, the argument happened. And then, you know, the rest is history. I think that's probably what ended up happening. And I think, again, Zayn probably miscalculated and thought... Because his missus talks about his her mum so badly that she would somehow could protect him or she would somehow have his back and it's like that's never gonna happen. You're never gonna split, you know, a daughter from her mother unless they're already broken beforehand. But usually if they have if they kind of come from a you know, a smaller family, maybe a single parent family, those people those guys that might as well be sisters. You know what I mean? They're not even daughter, mother and daughter anymore. They're probably closer than that. Um if if there is a level closer than that. So he maybe just miscalculated overall. But I'm sure in the back of his mind it also did feel really satisfying because he probably clearly hates her guts to the point because again, I can't think of a scenario that would put me in a position to be angry enough to push somebody, especially a girl, in that way, especially somebody who happens to be the mother of somebody that I love. That just seems to be to be a nuts because what you're effectively doing by that push is that you're saying that I don't want to be in a relationship anymore. You're basically saying I want to be single because that's what that push does. You immediately be touch somebody like that you're definitely thinking in the back of your head that you want to be single. You don't necessarily want to be in a relationship. You don't. You don't. You probably don't even want your kid at that point. You're like, you know what? Just X me out. I'm gone. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what you're probably hoping to do. Um, and again, it didn't work out for him. But again, I, I just can't get with these record labels. I think they're two-faced. I think they want the bad boy. They want his attitude. They want all that stuff. And then the moment it goes left, the moment it's not palatable enough for them, they decide to jump ship and they decide to suddenly kind of pick up their moral backbone from the floor and decide to kind of insert it and then suddenly kind of make draw a line at him it's like because i remember reading another report that said oh zayman's been dropped because of his excessive weed use it's like what come on man come on as if you didn't know you were smoking before now suddenly it's too much to smoke like get out of here man but god damn it's a wrap for him it's a wrap for him there's really no way of coming back from this Unless him and Gigi do like a united front thing. They do what John Jones did with his missus. He got accused of domestic violence. There was that, you know, incident with him kind of, you know, banging on the police car, acting crazy and shit while he was getting cuffed. And then the only thing that kind of quelled a lot of people to move on because they're in a ridiculously toxic relationship was that John Jones took a little video on his Instagram, I think, with his kind of wife in the passenger seat and they did some weird, long, you know, really wet kiss thing for the camera. And obviously that was their way of saying that, hey, we're cool now. Guys, you can leave us alone. Stop messaging us. Stop telling her that she should leave me. We're cool. You know, that sort of thing. Unless they do that, or unless Gigi does that for Zayn, it's done for him as a rap. It's a rap. This, this industry is too, you know, they're too afraid of being next to somebody who's kind of deemed to be um, ir- irredeemable that they won't do it. They just won't. They won't. And the kind of, again, the sensible thing to do, because he clearly has issues, whatever it is, I don't know what, don't ask me to psychoanalyze anybody, but they should be supporting him at this time, actually bringing him in. 
to allow him to grow to get better because again the only thing this guy's known is singing has he ever ever had a real job i don't think so does he come from a family with money probably i don't know but there's going to come a point where he's going to be struggling to kind of get his feet off the ground and he's not going to see, see a way out apart from making music and if he doesn't have that option what else is he going to do and if something bad happens off the back of that who is culpable who is responsible for that who can take the blame will they just say it's his fault because he hit or he pushed his flipping mother-in-law or can you blame the industry for taking his entire career away for over something like this it's just i don't know i don't know man maybe it's just me maybe i'm overthinking it and it's not that real serious but let me know in the comments what you think below i'll be curious to hear your thoughts